Hi, I'm Brett. So we've got another video update on the tips and traps on trying to diagnose the oil leaks on these new FA and FB series engines. So in our previous video, we showed you what this particular engine was looking like when we would dismantle it. And um, what we're going to show you now is what the engine looks like as we pull the assembly completely apart with pulling the cam box off, the cams and all those other components. We've got the block and the assembly with the remaining part of the heads. And what I'm going to show you over behind me is the parts that we've dismantled and I'll show you how they all fit. So you remember this is the front of the timing case assembly with the, which covers the camshafts. And remember on this model it's got variable cam on the inlet but not on the exhaust. And you'll notice the difference on the chain drive. This is the inlet variable cam control which has got advance and retard to change the cam timing via the ECU and oil pressure control but the exhaust side is just statically controlled and does not change at all. And this is the outer rocker cover, and then this is the cam box assembly which the rocker cover sits over the top of, and then that whole assembly then bolts to the head. And you'll see there is the left and the right hand side, but just as importantly, you'll notice now how we've pulled the cam chain and guides apart as well off the engine, and these are the um, injectors as well. So let's just have a look at the engine because it is rather interesting to see how this all works. And these are the tops of the valves on the inlet side and they're the tops of the valves on the exhaust side and you'll notice um, on the camshaft assembly which bolts over the top it's got the roller rockers assembly which then push on these which are then actuated by the lobes on the, val on the cams to open and close the inlet and exhaust valves for, of course to make the engine run. Down inside here is where the um, injectors fit and of course the top of the inlet manifold goes over the top and this model's got a plastic inlet manifold and I just want to show you um, here is the uh, the cam follower or the rocker, they're actually a roller rocker because this part here is a bearing so as that's pivoting um, with the engine operating the camshaft is spinning so that it reduces the resistance which again these are all little things that manufacturers do to improve fuel economy and engine efficiency and on this particular engines like the BRZ, the FB and the FA engines have all got roller rockers they're all quite tiny and these are all the parts that need to be refitted but what I wanted to do which is rather timing is you'll notice above me here is another engine that we're working on at the moment and this is a Subaru Impreza XV and uh, this engine's got variable cam on the inlet and the exhaust. And you'll notice, just under the side here, we haven't cleaned it yet, see that there? That's a very, very small oil drip where this front timing case cover has started to leak on this particular model. It hasn't dripped down to the pad, so it's not a rego fail, it's not a big issue, but every engine does have its strengths and weaknesses, and occasionally over a period of time you do get some small oil leaks. But that gives you a bit of an idea of what that engine looks like on the current model Impreza XV and that one there's done about um, 35 to 40,000 kilometres. So there you have it, it's a pretty good idea to give you an example now that you've seen what is required to fix the oil leaks on these um, FA and FB series engines. The important part is to make sure when they do go back together that you use the correct sealant, you use the correct o-rings and of course most importantly you use the correct tensions. Now there are some tensions on the nuts and bolts that are now generally accepted to be needed to be higher than the factory original settings to um, make sure that the reliable completion of the job is done right so you don't have any more oil leaks after it all goes back together. And of course when it all goes back together you would expect it to look like this because this is now the finished engine. You've seen in the videos what it looks like and now this is the engine all put back into place with no more oil leaks and um, a reliable package of parts gone back together. So make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram for more technical tips and updates on your Subaru, Mazda, Mitsubishi and of course no matter where you are in the world, thanks for watching.